My greatest problem with alternative medicine is not necessarily the everyday con man, but the more common occurrence of everyday gullibility from the average person who uses it. Millions of people use alternative medicine and alternative practices every year, and many of those people will delay going to a doctor because they figure that the practice itself will cure the problem. Even though in the UK we have particular regulations in place, basically making alternative medicine complementary, so you have it alongside genuine medicine, there will still be millions of people who will think twice before they go to the doctor straight away. They'll think, Well, last time I went to the doctor, the medication didn't work. But a week or two weeks later, I went along to a Reiki healer, who performed a healing therapy on me, and gave me a crystal. And I felt immediately better. Therefore, my conclusion is that the practice, the therapy, worked more than the scientific medicine. There are many people who will do this every year. They'll think the alternative medicine works better. Whether it's Reiki, whether it's homeopathy, flower remedies, or some kind of other therapy. And most won't suffer long-term effects as the result of not going to a genuine doctor straight away. However, some people who avoid going to see a doctor will allow a problem to become worse and they will suffer. And indeed, some of those people might well suffer to a great degree. And some people who have latched on to a belief in a alternative therapy might well believe in that more than modern medical science. And as a result, delay too much and then suffer greatly, or even die. There are also other people who suffer at the hands of alternative practitioners. People who say that modern medical science has given up on them. They've been given a period of time to live. Six months, a year, maybe less, maybe more. And rather than following through with the medical side of things to prolong their life, they go to a healer or a mystic of some kind. And these people might pay thousands to these individuals. Although the far more prevalent case is where an individual simply become addicted to the mystical practices, believing that they cure themselves by seeing repeatedly Reiki healers. But the truth is, medical professionals will not give up on you. But they will, as professionals, be honest with you. And it's usually at that point that many people turn towards dishonest practices. I think one of the big factors, one of the key points, why many alternative therapists don't give up on you, and they don't say things in an honest way, is because they're making money off you. And because with many practitioners, they also believe in the therapy. There are many people who make Reiki practically their religion. Through devotion to a mystical practice, many people make it their worldview, their focus, to the point where it practically is a religious issue. With non-mystical practices, non-mystical therapies, there's still that sense of devout belief. Many people are convinced by the way in which it seems to actually be scientific. They get their degrees very often online or in certain alternative medicine centres and they think that they have genuine qualifications in genuine science. And yet what they truly have is nothing more or less than an unaccredited degree which doesn't count for anything beyond alternative medicine. And one of the greatest reasons for this, for actually getting a degree in the first place, even if it's not a genuine accredited degree, is because it is recognised by certain alternative medicine organisations that help you to get insurance. Complementary medicines play upon the psychological need many people have. They can make people feel good even when they have no good reason to actually feel great. The vast majority of these practitioners believe in what they do and don't earn a huge amount of money. However, by their actions, 
they do encourage, despite regulations to try and prevent it, people to not go and seek genuine medical advice straight away, which can lead to long-term conditions becoming worse, and indeed in some cases, even death. And gave me a crystal, and I felt immediately better. 